Gina Manzares for the USA off the inside. Valim Tereshenko for Russia off two. Jason Doyle, gate three, and White for Australia. And that man, Lebedev, who's in the form of his life, he goes off the outside in red. Yeah, he is, and uh, he rode brilliantly in the previous race. Can he pick up nine points? It's going to be a tall order because uh, there's no doubt that Doyle will be a tough man to beat. Tarasenko coming out of gate two. He's ridden strongly, and the Russians will want to keep the momentum going. The two-point lead. Uh, they won't want to drop too many more here, and they certainly are giving Australia a real run for their money. They are indeed. Heat number 10, it is then here now. Big race coming up once again. Can Doyle do the business for Australia? Will Leverdevs continue his fantastic run of form off the outside? Get it on! Oh! Doyle! Well, Doyle definitely moved, and the red lights are on. They're going to put him out. They could. He's on a warning, yeah, isn't he? he's going to go. Oh! He's going to go. Doyle nervous on the start. Dropped the clutch, red lights came on. Christian Freshour, the German referee, there's not no happy with it. There's no exclusion light on yet. Well, he waited till the apex of the first and second turn to put the red lights on. Well, if he's going to call it back, we have seen this already in the Grand Prix with Piotr Pavlitsky. He moves early. That's why he's put the red light. Yeah, the exclusion light is now on. Jason Doyle is out of this race. Oh, disaster for Australia. Doyle has moved at the start, he's already on a warning, and he will not score a point in heat number 10. That could be a crushing blow for Team Australia. Opportunity for Vadim Tarasenko to cash in here in heat number 10 for the Russians, for Lebedevs, for Latvia exactly. to put three points on the board. Absolutely, Nigel. Here we're seeing it now confirmed. Phil Morris, the race director there, alongside Mark Lemon disappointment for Doyle and he will be frustrated with that he did admit in the interview that uh, he was a little nervous in his first ride and quite clearly he's frustrated with that but all of a sudden this was a meeting that uh, quite possibly was looking fairly straightforward for um, Australia with the inclusion of Jason Doyle and the fact with Grigory Laguta suspended but it's yeah. not turning out that way racing isn't done uh, in the pits, it's done on the track, and you've got to give a lot of credit to uh, the pressure, the pressure that is building from Latvia yep. and Russia, and maybe that is creating a tension in the Australian part of the pits. It's uh, causing one or two dramas. Well, the heat number 10. Another dramatic twist here in the Monster Energy FIM Speedway World Cup. And Anze Lebedev's off gate four has to be favourite for me here. He is. And we've already seen one big shot this week with Denmark failing to reach the race off. Well, you know, will we see Australia go out and some, you know, Russia go through or Latvia even go through? There's a long way to go, a long way to go. But so far, it's still wide open. Well, yeah, and if uh, Laguta wins this, then, uh, sorry, if Lebedevs wins this, I do apologise. Not here. 19, <laughs> <laughs> 19 <laughs> points for Latvia would put them ahead of Australia. Mm. It really is remarkable that uh, Australia would be on the back foot. And they really need a big performance from Chris Holder in Heat 11, Australia. So heat number 10 it is. The restart, three riders only. Jason Doyle looked absolutely furious. Yeah. But he was on a warning, and the referee called the race back for one reason. For one reason. And Doyle had to go. Drama for Australia here in Heat number 10. Three riders only. Great start from Tarasenko for Russia. He's hit the front, magnificent start, but look at Lebedev's in the dirt. Lebedev's now is going to take up the challenge. He's got a lot of pace in that motor. Ante Lebedev's around the outside here in turns three and four. Lebedev's, has he got the speed? What a move from Ante Lebedev's. He's reeled him in, and he's used that line high and wide by the fence, and he has just taken the lead superbly. What a ride from Andre Lebedev's. Terrifically exciting. Tarasenko superb away from the tar. Really strong start from him, but Lebedev's right out wide into Turns one and two, it's Lebedev Tarasenko! Oh. Here we go again! Now Lebedev has had to slam the door shut. Tarasenko! Tarasenko! It's the last lap! Lebedev's just hanging on! It's a no go for Tarasenko <laughs> because Lebedev closes the door and it's going to be a Latvian victory. And Latvia now will move on to 19 points, one behind Russia. Remarkable, Australia are now four points. Off the lead.
leader in this meeting. We are only halfway through, but goodness me, well, this is putting the cat amongst the pigeons big time. Nobody predicted this. Nobody predicted this. And nine points in the last two rides from Andre Lebedev. A wonderful ride from him. And Tarasenko clearly played his part as well. Fantastic move from no-go Tarasenko. <laughs> and uh, just very nearly got to the front. But Lebedev's brilliant in uh, out, out there picking up all the points. Yeah, Lebedev's a winner. Superb. I said he was the favourite for the race, but mm. he didn't actually make the start. No. 6, 9, 12. He's scored 14 points from four rides now. Quite well, good, isn't it? Lebedev's. Russia 20, Latvia 19, Australia on 16 points and super ride from Lebedevs mm. who passed. Go, go, Tarasenko! Yeah, Tarasenko rode nicely on the first corner here. Just got the, uh, just about had the momentum to hit the front down the back straight. We're looking at Lebedevs coming from the outside and uh, in the race itself, it's the outside run that works for him because he uses the dirt that's built up. Here you see it here, there's a more material there now and you're generating more and more pace, and Lebedev does it here, gets the better of Tarasenko, cannot resist that move. Tarasenko then actually comes back at the Latvian really strongly by riding on the inside, and then Lebedev has to re recognize that and has to ride more defensively, otherwise he was going to get overtaken by the Russian. Really good speedway by two riders that we don't see a tremendous amount of, but certainly they are riding out of their skins tonight.